my name is Tembi, and I'm going to read to you a book about a great artist today. The book is entitled Frida Kahlo and the Bravest Girl in the World. Um, and um, I'm really honored to read this book for PS Arts. It's a book about bravery, and it's a book about art, and it's a book about discovery. So I hope you enjoy. Here goes. Here's the title page. Okay. So, there was once a girl with big brown eyes. Her name was Mariana. She lived in a house in Mexico full of paintings by the famous artist named Frida Kahlo. Frida had painted Mariana's daddy. She had painted her big sister Lupita. Frida had painted her mom and her brother Eduardo. There's Mariana. But Mariana's favorite painting was of her wise granny, Dona Rosita. Frida had painted every white hair on her grandmother's head, so the painting almost seemed alive. I want to be painted too, said Mariana. Oh, you're too little, said her big brother. You could never sit still, Mariana, said Dona Rosita. Frida made me sit for so long, I knitted three scarves and a sweater. Anyway, Mariana, you would be scared to go to Frida's house, teased her brother. It's full of strange paintings, and Frida keeps a skeleton above her bed. Mariana's eyes grew big and wide. But one day, Mariana's daddy said, Mariana, now it's your turn. You can go to Frida's house on Saturday. Mariana felt very nervous as she rang the bell at the big blue house. She waited a long time. She thought about the paintings and the skeleton. At last, the door opened and there stood Frida. She was as beautiful as a Mexican princess. Frida wore rings on her fingers and flowers in her hair and a beautiful dress which reached right to the floor. Hello, Mariana, said Frida. How are you doing? I'm a little scared, said Mariana. Well, that's okay, said Frida. Everyone feels scared sometimes. Now, take my hand. Let's go inside. If Frida was a princess, her house was like a bright blue fairy tale palace. Frida did not have children, but she had lots of animals. Come and meet my many friends, she said. This is Fu Long Chang, my spider monkey. This is Bonito, my parrot. This is my favorite little dog. He's called Mr. Hilotti. What a funny name, said Mariana. And this is my baby deer. Uh, Granzo, and this is my beautiful eagle, Gertrude Caca Blanca. What does Gertrude Caca Blanca mean? asked Mariana. Hey, kiddo, laughed Frida. Don't you know? It means Gertrude White Poo. Mariana almost laughed, but still, she was a little frightened. Listen, little sister, whispered Frida. If you are very lucky, you will meet my favorite friend of all. He's an ugly frog toad, as big as an elephant. Maria, um, Mariana's eyes grew big and wide. She knew princesses liked frogs, but she hoped she wouldn't have to kiss him. You and I are going to be pals, said Frida. Let's go to my studio. They walked very slowly. Frida walked very slowly with a stick in one hand. And they went into the studio filled with Frida's paintings. The pictures were strange. but They were very beautiful. OK. 
Okay, let's get to work, said Frida. Mariana sat in a tall chair. Her feet didn't even touch the ground. Mariana tried to sit still. She looked at all the funny things in the studio, toys, candy, dolls. Frida, where is the enormous frog toad? She asked. Oh, <laughs> he'll hop along at lunchtime, said Frida. He's my, my frog toad is always hungry. So they sat in the sunshine and ate a delicious meal. Oh, here, let me show you this picture first. That's them in the studio. They sat in the sunshine and ate a delish and ate delicious food. And Mariana gave a banana to Fulong Chang, and Frida gave an apple to Granzio. Then, the gate opened and someone came into the yard. All of a sudden, Mariana felt very scared. She saw an enormous man with a fat tummy and big froggy eyes. Frida gave the man a kiss. Mariana, meet Diego, my favorite frog toad. Diego, this is my friend Mariana. I'm painting her today. Diego smiled and kissed Mariana's hands. Then he ate the biggest meal Mariana had ever seen. Diego is a great painter, said Frida. Maybe the greatest painter in Mexico. And my Frida is the greatest painter in the world, said Diego. After lunch, Frida said, I'm too tired to paint anymore. I need to rest for a while. Help me to my bedroom, little sister. Mariana remembered what her brother had said. Um, I think I'll, I'll go home now, she said. I don't, I don't, I don't like skeletons. <laughs> You're funny, said, laughed Frida. There was Frida's bed, and on top of it was a skeleton. But this skeleton wasn't scary at all. It was a big toy skeleton with a funny hat and a silly smile on its face. Frida rested while Mariana looked at the beautiful clothes in her wardrobe. I love your dresses, she said. Thanks, said Frida. You know why I wear dresses, long dresses all the time? Because you're a princess, said Mariana. Frida laughed. Listen, little sister, come and sit beside me. I'll tell you a true story. When I was young, a young girl, I went to school in the city. And one day I got on a bus with a boy. Was he your boyfriend, asked Mariana. Yes. He was my boyfriend, laughed Frida. Anyway, a dreadful thing happened. The bus was in a crash with a train, a tram. It was a terrible accident. They put me in the hospital for a long, long time. Oh, poor Frida. Did it hurt? Mm hmm. It did hurt. It hurt me then, and it hurts me now. It hurt so bad they had to make a special plaster coat to hold my body still. They carried me home and they put me in this bed. I was dead scared, little sister. I thought my life was over. But it wasn't over, was it, Frida? No way, kiddo. I was just beginning. One day, my papa made a special easel and gave me some paints. He even fixed a mirror over my bed, above my bed. Look up, Frida. Look up there, he said. That is the bravest girl in the world.
Oops, sorry. <laughs> there you go. There's her bed and the easel and the mirror her dad put on the ceiling. And that's when you started painting? You got it. I said to the funny skeleton, listen, Boney, Frida may be broken, but she sure isn't finished. I am never going to be scared of anything again. I'm going to be a painter. I'm going to be a, a better painter than any man in Mexico. And if it wasn't for the accident, you wouldn't be an artist, said Mariana. Maybe that's true. The doctors told me I would never walk again, but no one tells Frida what to do. Slowly, I learned to walk. But I always wore long dresses to cover my broken leg. Well, all week long, Mariana waited for Saturday so she could go back to the blue house. Mariana loved Frida, and Frida loved Mariana. She told her lots of funny things to make her laugh. Look here, little sister. Have you ever seen anything like this? Hanging on the line were three pairs of pink underpants big enough for an elephant. They belong to Diego, giggled Frida. He's so big, he has them specially made. But sometimes Frida had to paint in her wheelchair. Mariana felt very sad for Frida. But Frida said, feet, eh, who needs them when you have wings to fly? We are stronger than we think, Mariana. Hmm. And here's a little secret. Women are stronger than men. It's true. Diego is a, a huge, enormous frog toad, but he's really a big baby. Did I tell you he plays with toys in his bath? I am only small, little sister, and I suffer all the time. But my heart, my heart, in my heart, I am stronger than any man alive. Frida gave Mariana lots of presents, a little special chair so that Mariana's feet could reach the ground, her own baby skeleton with a hat. And Mariana looked at the skeleton and said, listen, Boney, I am the bravest girl in the world. hear that noise? <laughs> then, one Saturday, Frida said, the painting is done. I'm going to move closer so you can hear me. Frida said, the painting is done. Let me see, let me see, said Mariana. Frida only smiled. She wrapped the painting in brown paper and tied a ribbon around it. She told Mariana to open it at home. Your granny, Dona Rosita, is a wise old woman. If she likes the painting, then it can't be too bad. But listen, Mariana, I have painted a name at the bottom of the picture. It is the name of the strongest, bravest, most beautiful little woman I know. Of course, said Mariana. You signed your name, Frida. The painting. No one is as brave as you. Mariana said goodbye to the animals, and when she kissed Diego, the big frog toad, she pretended she didn't know about his pink underpants and his bath toys. Frida had one last present for Mariana, a Mexican princess dress, just like hers. Promise me you'll be strong like me, little sister. Promise me you will fly in your life. Mariana kissed Frida and hugged her hard, and she promised that she would. Then she took her daddy's hand and she walked out of the blue house. Isn't her dress pretty? Well... Granny, well, said Granny Dona Rosita, can we see your painting? 
Everyone gathered around as Mariana untied the ribbon. And there was the girl with the big brown eyes sitting perfectly still in her own special chair. Dona Rosita said it was the most beautiful painting in Mexico. And she should know she was a wise old lady. And underneath was the name of the bravest, strongest girl in the world, Mariana. Thank you for letting me read to you today. So be strong and be brave. Be strong and be brave and spread your wings and fly.